if you're buying a car that's expensive, you're always going to find yourself in that sort of debt. Firstly, what is a car towards a person? It's an asset, right? It's a depreciating asset. Now, with regards to owning a car, I've owned many cars and uh, some of them are new, some of them are second hand. But the one thing that's important is that in order for you to get around, especially in South Africa, because places are relatively far from each other, and also the opportunities of certain areas or where certain corporate jobs are. So for example, let's just take Santon City, which is a, a location where there's a lot of corporate people that have their offices. If you're not working from home, you need to commute to these places, right? So it's important that you do have a, a method of transportation to get to these sort of places. Now, as financing a car, I don't think one should finance a car because what I've learned over the years is that you do find the entry level car that comes in and it's just for you to commute. I'm not saying that you're going to be with an entry level car for the whole, your whole life, but the amount of money you spend on actually purchasing a car via finance is way more than than what you think because if you take a, for example a car and you say okay i'm gonna balloon payment the last payment of that car and then you need to either return the car sell it or because you need to make up the balloon payment or alternatively you need to refinance that last payment right if you're buying a car that's expensive you're always going to find yourself in that sort of debt but if you go for a car that's relatively less expensive and it can be a second hand car, it can it allows you to commute to places between your home and the corporate job or a job that you have. I think that finding a car at the value where it doesn't need to be financed is very, very important. Alternatively, you can also not finance a car. If you have to finance a car, try not to do it with traditional banking systems. Find a person that has a lot of cash in your network, or you get to find a person that's willing to do um, or loan you some money. Yes, we do know that loaning you the money may not be the ideal situation because it makes you look vulnerable, but rather that than you know having this constant battle of paying a, a higher purchase vehicle monthly with a balloon payment, it's it's just a it's a roller coaster ride. So do I recommend financing a car? No, your options are three or fourfold. Find a cheaper car, find a car that's reliable, find a car that you, if you need to finance, you don't finance through the traditional banking way. You have to find somebody that allows, it allows you to borrow money. It can even be your parents or anyone in your family that's relatively well off and do a deal with them. And then lastly, make sure that the car will get you and commute you to the place where you need to be.